Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124. Welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Kart Wii Custom Retro Tracks. <clears throat> and you can start right away here at the end of the video, or no, after I do Rainbow Road 4, finish up the Pop Block Cup. I'm going to uh, read off from a list that I looked at previously and mention all the Super Mario Kart courses that have been brought back in future Mario Kart games and all the ones that have not been brought back yet, not counting, and not excluding Super Circuit from this since all of them were brought back in Super Circuit. Um, but yeah, not counting Super Circuit, I'm gonna list off all the tracks that have been brought back um, at the end of this. <clears throat> and I had to look up a list because unlike games such as Mario Kart 64's tracks, I don't know Super Mario Kart's tracks well enough. There's one thing I do know offhand, no Vanilla Lakes or Bowser's Castles have been freaking remade in a future Mario Kart game, not counting su from Super Mario Kart, not counting Super Circuit. Anyway, that said, let's get going right away here. I'm fairly certain this was brought back in Mario Kart DS. Look how good this looks. That freaking background, the off road mud. Unlike in Mario Kart DS, it's so nice when the, where these things are a, a freaking nuisance, it's nice to actually be able to trick off these things. They're more of a nuisance in Mario Kart DS than anything. Actually, no. Not Mario Kart DS. I mean, they're not, I don't think they're too helpful, I don't know, but I want to say the game of thinking of that they're a nuisance in is actually Super Circuit. Because they slowed you down, you couldn't use items when you're taking them, so you wanted to actually jump over them in that game. I came so close to hitting that Bronco plan. Interesting, the pop lot me felt the freaking front by its job. I think I already knew this knowledge, but it was just, it's just very interesting to see uh, so many product plants jump at once. Okay, Toadette really got screwed by some stuff, and I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm about to freaking lap drive Bowser. Oh, so much for that. I like baby Luigi. I mean, hey, five laps instead of three, it's bound to be a thing you do. I imagine you really laugh the CPUs a lot in 200cc in these Super Mario Kart tracks. Okay, this one has... I didn't mean to skip the intro, stupid Weirmo. Is it freaking go giving me bullcrap again? But yeah, is that blue color lava or is it actually water? Either way, this looks really freaking cool. Another custom texture on those blocks. This one has the, uh, it's blue. Freaking custom programming or whatever. Change the, you must have changed the code of those boost panels because they'll shoot you really far ahead. 
stupid Toad out getting a triple banana peel. Of course the dumb thing holds a Mario Kart and tries to freaking go for Peach. Yeah, I love that custom texture of those firebug enemies. That is so freaking cool. And those swamps. Custom textures on those swamps in the freaking lava water. They have Podaboos flying in the lava too. Someone blue shell Toadette, this is bullcrap. Dumb swamp. Okay, good, that's gonna slow her down. Probably not long though because of those freaking panels. What the? When did Toadit get screwed over? <clears throat> Freaking itching ear. Come on, really with the lightning. Freaking firebug. Give me mushrooms. Yes. Freaking Mario. Not bad. Hot baby Mario. Hideout. Got those B enemies from Mario 3D Land and 3D World. <laughs> frickin' honeycomb textures on the frickin' box. That is really pretty cool. Using assets from, uh, interesting using assets from, uh, Maple Tree Away. And of course, it's using the music from it. Must not be too long of a track, it's only three laps. Or it's three laps, not only two, I mean. It's a regular three laps. This track's kind of lengthy. They should have made it only two laps. This is gonna surpass the three minutes. Why did they not make it a two? Come on, really, no blue shells. Why did they not make it a two lap race? That one was not falling off of all that lap too. Gotta love all these custom textures over the freaking item blocks. Interesting, so the bees are just freaking texture hacks over the uh bats. Because they don't freaking hurt you when you run into them like they do in the honey battle track of Mario Kart 7. 
beehive battle track, whatever it's called. Get sniped, King Boo. Come on, really? Stupid baby Mario. Come on, give me a star, man. Thank you. Stupid lightning, can we not when I get trouble mushrooms? Good baby Mario fell. Get out, Toda. Thank you. We win. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, not a guarantee to first place, but at least I've got a comfortable lead for Rainbow Road. Oh, not Rainbow Road. Uh, Donut Plains Three. Look how freaking good this course looks. It looks incredible in Marker 8, don't get me wrong, but I almost think I like this design better. This looks so good. Like, look at the, look at the freaking landscape and the freaking vibrance and color of all this stuff. The vibrance of the, like, the textures, they gotta be well polished or the textures may not look as nice and fancy and shiny as they do in Mario Kart 8, but as far as the environments of color and the environment you're in, I'd say I like this better than Mario Kart 8 version. This looks so freaking good. In Nintendo, why couldn't you have had freaking question blocks and those brick blocks in the freaking background in your course? This definitely seems to have some sort of inspiration to from uh, Mario Kart 8's Ribbon Road. This course looks so freaking good. And it's actually a lot more fun to race on this than Mark Hardy's version. Primarily because Mark Hardy's version of this course is more difficult than this version. Especially on 200cc. Again, huge props to the CTG people, CTGP people. This freaking course looks so good. The only thing that would make this version of Gauntlet's 3 complete is the toad mushroom houses that are in the Mario Kart 8 version. Why I let it hit that freaking uh, fake block? I was kind of kind of surprised I didn't. <laughs> I have to say, so far, this is definitely my favorite. Ah, I'd say third favorite. Uh, SNES Custom Retro Track because I love the Bowser's Castle. They look so freaking awesome, cool, and badass.
Google Beach 2, this I know for a fact was brought back a Mario Kart DS. For the soundtrack and the course itself, I really want to see Koopa Beach 1 brought back in Mario Kart 9. But fittingly, it uses the uh, Shy Guy? I can't remember what it's called. The Shy Guy Horse. Super Mario Kart, or Super Circuit. Shy Guy Horse and Super Circuit uses that soundtrack. There was three beach soundtracks you could use. This one, Beach Beach, and uh... I can't remember what the other one is. That's the game saying, no, you're not clapping, baby Mario. Come on, what the frick is this? Mario Kart 8 get out of here with that. Denying you late laughing at character crap. Yeah. Even baby peach. Freaking Power Moon from Super Mario Odyssey. This was definitely created within the past couple of years. <laughs> so I take it this is pretty much Waluigi Stadium on crack. With a little bit of freaking water coliseum thrown in. Yes, that drive out there. Take that, baby beach. That's for freaking me. At least I'm not the only one getting screwed in with the water. Another awesome te color texture hack over the friggin' firebugs. Thank you for the bull, though.
Get red shell, baby peach, you little douchebag. Here, I haven't been in for a with it. Screw off, baby peach. If it was anyone else, I wouldn't care. Stupid baby peach. Give me baby peach, you're supposed to eat that block. Alrighty then, interesting shot. Burglar Peach isn't even here already, then. I was gonna say, even though I know Baby Peach is Peach as a baby in the past, I was gonna Mario and Luigi partners in time, I was gonna freaking say Peach freaking spank your daughter, but Peach isn't even in this. Not as cool as the other variation of this, but it still looks good. I do still love this, but this is definitely my least favorite. Aesthetically, my least favorite of the custom retro Bowser Castle, SNES Bowser Castle tracks. And also, what I forgot to see after that last fourth back to our irregularly scheduled custom retro tracks. Your hour, whatever. I'm just glad I'm very close. Uh, I'll say fairly. Um, at least I'm very happy that I'm fairly familiarized with a lot of these SNES before versus because of uh, them all being brought back in Super Circuit. Take that, you little douchebag. I wanted to say the B word, but I didn't. Really, game? Can you not give her a freaking red shell? Can yeah, ABP's not be pulling a baby Luigi on me? Stupid dry Bowser. Run into a wall, you moron. This next one I do believe I've played before, so I know what it looks like. I think it looks very similar to Mario Kart 7's variation of SNES Rainbow Road, and then it does the sky stuff. You do gotta love how gorgeous that looks, though. Yeah, again, the color of the road looks very similar to how it does in Mario Kart 7. And 
course, it's been programmed to grow to move in waves that you can jerk off of like in our arcade. I do have to say, out of all the variations of this course I've ever played, this is hands down the easiest. <laughs> the flops aren't too hard to dodge, the road isn't moving in all wavy. You got plenty of time to make the frickin' turns. The, there's plenty of space on the road compared to the versions in Super Mario Kart and Super Circuit. One star. Two two way ties. Wally Toy out of eleven, baby De Daisy and Bowser Jr. thirteen. Okay, so it does not display your trophy then. Not surprised, but it is very interesting. But anyway, now it's time to read up all the tracks. So, and some of these are probably going to be, that I'm going to read off are going to be tracks that were not in CTGP, but Mario Circuit 1, Donut Plains 1, Chocolate Island 2, and Koopa Beach 2 were brought back in Mario Kart DS. The ones brought back in this game, Mario Kart Wii, were Ghost Valley 2 and Mario Circuit 3. The ones brought back in Mario Kart 7 are Mario Circuit 2 and Rainbow Road. And of course, Rainbow Road was also brought back in Mario Kart 8, and even though I don't really count it, Mario Kart Tour. Um, And then Mario Kart 8 brought back Donut Plains 3. Ones that have not been brought back any game, not counting Super, in the market, future market game, not counting Super Circuit are Ghost Valley 1, Bowser Castle 1, Chocolate Island 1, Donut Plains 2, Bowser Castle 2. Koopa Beach 1, Vanilla Lake 1, Bowser Castle 3, Mario Circuit 4, Ghost Valley 3, and Vanilla Lake 2. Not counting any, any of those tracks that were in this game, uh, that are in this game, in CTQP, it's custom retro tracks. Anyway guys, that said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. And it should be just one video, but it might be two, depending on how long it is and uh, whether or not I have uh, game capture issues happen or not. But provided everything goes through well enough, I'll see you guys next time for all of the Mario Kart 64 Retro Custom Tracks. Bye, everybody.